Welcome to TheMarketCapitalist.com. I'm Mindy Martin, and here today with me is Domenico Johnston discussing his newly released book, Event Driven Investing. Domenico, what motivated you to write Event Driven Investing? Well, before I tell you my motivation, let me take a step back and talk about the website, TheMarketCapitalist.com. I started the site about two years ago as a blog, and I did it because, really based on the tagline that my site has, you work hard for your money, your money should work hard for you. In today's world, you have a number of people telling you you should be investing in this commodity or this stock or this mm -hmm. bond, whatever it is. And there's oftentimes not a lot of strategy around what you should do. Oh, buy this company, buy this bond. Well, why should I do it? And even if I'm purchasing that bond or that stock, What's the exit strategy? It's really, there's no framework put around anything. So that concerned me. Having that second part of the tagline, your money should work hard for you. A lot of people don't think about that. They think about, oh, well, I, you know, I make this amount of money, I'm going to save it. Well, right. I work hard for my money, you work hard for your money. Shouldn't that money that we've earned, that time that we sacrificed in our life, be working hard for us to maximize whatever that is that we've been able to save? I think it should be. So based on those two areas I and my um, investing experience, mm -hmm. I sat down and thought to myself, you know what, I need to write a book based on a strategy that I'm aware of that can help people out. And that's really where the motivation comes from. I want to be able to help people, whether you're experienced or um, novice investor, and set a you know a pathway that you can follow that really guides you in terms of your investing decisions. So did you come across this strategy through your readings or is it something you developed yourself? Um, a little bit of both I would suppose. Um, I've been investing for over 10 years now and I've I've seen a lot of things go right and I've seen a lot of things go wrong and you learn from both of them. Hopefully you learn from the one things that go wrong really well. Um, what I was seeing and what I was doing was that there are certain times when I was seeing things in the future that were going to happen, not because I'm a genius, but because these companies were essentially telegraphing what they were going to do. Okay. Um, so I was seeing that pattern kind of evolve, and with all my other investing experience, you kind of gauge that against everything else, and I thought to myself, well, this, this could have some serious implications. Now, event-driven investing isn't my concept. It's a concept that's been out for I don't know how many years. Um, and it's very, you know, it's descriptive. It's event-driven investing. You're, you're investing based on certain events. That's, that's nothing new. Right. The, the part that I'm really bringing to the table is the strategy of what companies to approach and how to approach them. The methodology of choosing what to invest in and then go, or um, the process of going about setting up your, essentially your strategy of how you're going to get into the company, when you're going to get into the company, and when you're going to get out. You know, the, the, the subtitle of this book is um, Increasing Returns and Reducing Risk on the low, Road Less Travel. Reducing risk and increasing returns, that's really the leveraged part of this book. Event-driven investing, self-explanatory. Right. It's, the wind's kicking up here. Yeah. Um, it's really getting to the point where you're able to identify those companies and you're able to implement a strategy that allows you to cut down on the risk that you're being exposed to, but also leverage and beat the market. So to, to get the most out of your book, should somebody, as far as an investor, be truly experienced, or would this book also work for a novice investor? It would work for both, and that's kind of the beauty of this. This strategy, and one of the reasons I wrote it was because it's so accessible to all investors. And that's not to say that it's an easy strategy and you can go out and it, really, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. Right. I, I mean, I say that up front. It's something that's going to take you time, but we all have you know, a certain amount of time. We all live in a 24-hour day, right? right? Well, it's allocating that time to go out and do that research. You don't have to have a, you know, a master's in finance to figure this out. 
This is going out and understanding what's available in the marketplace and how you can capitalize on that idea. Let me give you an example. If you go into some fast food stores today, mm -hmm. you'll get a spoon, you'll get a fork, but it's made out of some biodegradable product. It's not plastic, right? Right. Anybody can go into that restaurant, sit down, look at that fork, and say, man, that's really neat. Maybe it would be a good investment. It doesn't take much from that point to go out on the internet, which everybody has you know, access to these days, and go and start searching for certain companies um, that are addressing that issue, that are the, providing those types of utensils. Now, where it really comes into play is the type of company you pursue. Um, because there are some companies that are set up to be more beneficial for individual investors than others. And that's what I get into in the book. And that's really where the strategy comes into play. Because you and I are free as individual investors. Right. We're not fund managers. We're not um, saying we have to invest in large cap stocks from the United States. We're, I can go invest in anything I want. And because of that, there are certain areas that I can play in that the fund managers can't play in. And that provides an advantage to me if I know how to use it. So who do you think would benefit most by reading your book? I think really um, investors that don't have a sound strategy in place. Right. I know for myself, even so back in 2005 to 2007, the market had a really nice run. Mm -hmm. And I did really well, but I didn't really have a great strategy in place. I just, I benefited because some of it was luck. Well, a lot of it was luck because the market's going up. Right. Anything that I was throwing at myself, I was able to capitalize on. But there's a couple things that happen. One, if you're dealing with a difficult market, this strategy is very good because it's really keying in on specific events. It's trigger points. It's not, oh, let me um, be taken away with the flow of the market. It's actually looking at specific events. And secondly, it's allowing you to... Um, Kind of well, talking about risk and manage your risk, but also increase your returns. And by that, I say you can't. As an investor, I can sit down and I can buy a stock and I can see it run up ten percent, and I can think to myself, "Wow, I got a ten percent return over two days. This is great. Let me cash out now." Well, yeah, you are up ten percent, but what happens if that thing runs fifty more right. percent? Then you feel, "Oh man, I missed, missed out on." Out. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So there's a strategy beyond that. Typical individual investors today are not leveraging a specific strategy. They're going out, they're listening to people, they're hearing, buy this stock, buy this industry, and they're doing it. And sometimes that works out fine and sometimes it doesn't. But the, the ability to have actual control of what you're doing and not panic because you actually have a set strategy in place is a very powerful thing for any investor. So therefore, I think it's really the more novice investor that's going to really capitalize on what this book says. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Yep. The book is available, themarketcapitalist.com. $3.99, we set it low. Again, I'm not trying to get rich off of this. This mm -hmm. is really to help each individual investor, whether you're experienced or whether you're a novice, to go out, have a strategy set in place that you can leverage and beat the market. Thank you, Domenico. Thanks, Mindy.